Can we perhaps edit that part out? I, I, I don't understand how these niche internet micro-celebrities do it all the time. Trying to flirt with the camera made me feel sick. Ugh. Yes, yes, hello. It is, in fact, I. I bet you weren't expecting to see me again, not for a very long time. Of course, I would love to talk about how my character is growing as the season has gone along, but unfortunately for all of us, I really can't do that. Mainly because my character has the unfortunate uh, disadvantage of not being in the season nearly enough. I was there for episode zero, and I think I was there close to the end, but um, that was really only a cameo, wasn't it, in the end? It's just like, it's basically building on... What? What? Uh... Ruby? Who's that? The Drifter. Oh, yes, the Drifter. I haven't seen anyone like him in a long time, which is very ironic, all things considered. There's something unique about him, something that I can't quite explain. Well, if you don't like it, why don't you just fuck off? Excuse me? It's clear that you don't know who you're looking for. Considering you haven't taken a pot shot into the crowd yet, you're gonna assume you're here for him and only him. All you have is a name in a fanboy's vehicle. Not a very good one either, if I'm being honest. The stickers are all wrong, but the wings are a bit discolored. Of course, he's still no match for me in the long run. I am the martyr, after all. There is no one that can quite match my power. Oi, dickhead! Your fight's with me! Oh, now you're running, you fucking coward! Get back here, you little shit! But, um... No, there is... Definitely something special about this one. Something that I don't think I've ever experienced before. Hmm. Well, I suppose it couldn't hurt to talk about my exploits with the good doctor. No, while I was under his care, he was an absolute delight. One of the nicest people I've interacted with in a long time. I'd have asked for him to come with me had I not been so panicked at the time, but... Well, things are at play here bigger than all of us, and I didn't have the time. Although, when all of this is over, should he succeed? Should I succeed? I would like to pay him a visit and thank him for the help. Had it not been for him, my mission, all my lives, it would have been for nothing. I would have died knowing nothing of my crusade, of my progress, of my history. I would have died a shell, and for that, I will be eternally grateful to the man. Ruby? No, I... I don't believe I've heard of this, uh, Ruby. Uh, who is he? Who does he play? Oh, the... yeah, ah, mm, the maid, yes, um... I... to be, to be completely honest with you, I, I didn't even realize he was sentient. I, I thought he was like the others. Um... No, I, I have no ill will towards him, I suppose. I mean, I, is he even really uh, alive? I mean, I know certain clone races can have uh, illusions of humanity within them, but no, I, I, don't have, I don't hold any ill will towards him. It would be like holding ill will towards a rabbit, in my opinion. That, that is how I see him. He is merely a rabbit. Now, that would just be telling, wouldn't it? Oh, no, 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 I can't give away my plans of world domination so easily. Uh, 
Such an idea makes me chuckle. No, I'm not going for world domination. That's not my style. You seem to peg me as this uh, ultimate evil. You, you seem to think of me as this villain above all villains. When I'm not the ultimate villain, I'm, I'm not the ultimate bad guy, no. In this story, that role is played by... Well, now that would be spoilers, wouldn't it? <laughs> Come now. You can't speak to me like that. You'll never get what you want by insulting me. Yes, I can be a bit of a dick, I suppose, but... All will be revealed in due time. To tell you the truth, I am the true good guy here. And I mean that, honestly. There is no one greater than I in all of this. I am sacrificing the most doing what I do. I have lost the most doing what I do. I do what I do. Not out of self-interest. Not out of a lust for power or money or anything like that. I do what I do because it is right. Because it is kind. Because it is decent. The Drifter. He, in truth, believes that I am the bad guy. And I suppose from his point of view, he is right. But I do what I do only for the noblest of causes, only to help him. My mission. Oh, I would so love to brag about my mission. You know, it has been in the works for oh, at least longer than the lifespan of this galaxy, to be completely honest with you. I, oh, but no, no, I mustn't let it leak out, not now. It has been in the works for too long for me to risk any information about it leaving my lips. Though, as long as I am successful in my current objective, then perhaps I shall be able to reveal my mission to you after all. For when this drifter is dead, there will no longer be a reason for me to be so tight-lipped about my adventures. So, what can you look forward to in the next season? Well, now that would also be telling. If you want to know things, you have to be more coy with your questioning. You can't just come out and ask me what to expect in the next season. Otherwise, you won't get your answers. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure if I'll be returning for the second season or not. It was originally planned to be that way, but things change. And if not, I can guarantee that you will see me in the third. Well, out of this experience, the one thing I think I would like the most is to perfect my accent. You see, I... Mm, this is a deeply held secret, one so close to my chest, I couldn't bear to let it go. But I can make an exception for you. You see, this accent, it's not natural, no. For this to be my natural accent, oh, that would be the dream, but unfortunately it's not. I adopted this accent, this manner of speaking, quite some time ago now. Uh, I felt my at-the-time accent was getting quite boring, so I decided it was time for a change. After all, you can only change your face so many times before the novelty wears off. I mean, eventually something else has got to change, and, well... That just so happened to be my voice. And it has been a lovely honor meeting yourself. Um, make sure to tune in for the second season of Anadonia, coming very, and I mean very, soon. Thank you, once again, for allowing me the experience of undergoing the interview. It's uncommon for myself to get the spotlight like this. I, I truly appreciate it.
I wasn't wrong. There is something different about you, Drifter. There is something so strange. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before. I've never seen you like this before. And that bugs me to no end. I should know this. I should know everything about you, and yet this... This is beyond even me. And that cannot stand. There should be nothing I have never encountered before. Lived too long for that. And yet you... Oh, you... Somehow, some way, you're special. Oh, and I guess the drone exists as well. I should get myself one of those.